Hi guys, it's Lisa. Today I wanted to talk about my feet, which seems like a weird topic until I get into it. Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down. So yeah. in October 2018, I fell in my backyard and it's a pretty sad slash funny story, but I was walking with my dad at night in our backyard and all of a sudden this frog out of nowhere hops onto my leg and I freak out. It hopped onto my right leg, so I lifted my right leg up, but when I landed back down, there was a hole in the concrete and my foot twisted in a really strange way. And basically I ended up getting tendonitis on the inside of my foot. But the thing with this one is it went on for like four months and it still wasn't getting better. I tried a lot of different things. I tried physical therapy. I tried a month being in a cam boot and nothing helped. So in February of 2019, I ended up getting surgery in the hopes of correcting my tendonitis. Basically, I was born with an extra bone on the inside lateral part of my foot. And because that extra bone was there and it was protruding out, it was basically creating friction. Like let's say this is the extra bone and this is the tendon. Every time I would walk, it would create extra friction so that the tendon could never really heal because it was constantly being aggravated. So that surgery was to remove this bone in the hopes that it would be more like this so that every time I would walk, there would not be any friction and it would allow the tendon to actually heal and recover. The surgery didn't exactly work out as planned because it's July of 2020 and my foot is still in pain. The doctor that I'm seeing now thinks that the surgeon who did the surgery back in February of 2019 didn't remove enough of the bone. The recovery time from the surgery was supposed to be four months and after four months, I was supposed to feel completely better. So recently I went to go get a steroid shot for my foot in that area in the hopes that I would bring the inflammation down and finally give my tendon an environment where it could actually heal. But what ended up happening is that that steroid shot actually caused there to be more inflammation. When I first got the shot, it was really painful for two weeks. I couldn't bear that much weight on my foot. At this point, it's gotten a lot better. I can walk around, but the area is still very big and swollen. So I thought it'd be a good idea to show you guys the scar because I feel like it's kind of hard to imagine when I just talk about it. But basically, the tendonitis was here and the extra bone was here. So the surgery was to remove that, but as you can see from the scar, it never really healed. You can see like the shadow, there's like inflammation here. It's swollen and that's from the steroid shot that I got a few weeks ago, which was actually supposed to do the opposite and decrease the inflammation. It was discouraging to say the least after I got that second steroid shot. As soon as I left the doctor's office, I just like broke down and I was just telling my husband that I was like so discouraged because I felt like I was taking one step forward and two steps back. And then to compound the issue, two or three weeks ago, I was doing pull-ups on the pull-up bar and then it just randomly just fell down. Luckily, the foot that I had my surgery on, my right foot, isn't the one that got hurt, but it was my left foot. So when I fell down, the heel of my left foot just jammed into the floor. And luckily there was no fracture, but she said that it would be a bone bruise and it would take, you know, a couple of weeks to heal. Look from your telescope, take me on this journey home. I'm outside with Caleb now. We're just spending some time outside today since the weather is nice. Yeah. Say shh birdies. So when I first hurt my left foot a few weeks ago, I couldn't really bear weight on it without a lot of pain and when I first heard it, me and my husband were both really discouraged because it felt like, you know, we've just been dealing with my right foot for so long and now this happens and I couldn't do everything before but now really I couldn't do anything. I just had to sit and rest because the pain was bad in the beginning. and. In particular, I was really discouraged just about taking care of Caleb and feeling like I just, I couldn't. In fact, like I felt like, you know, my husband had to take care of me and of Caleb and, you know, he does such a good job taking care of us and he does it so willingly. Um, 
but I still felt really bad. You know, he's already crawling and standing up and doing all these things. Like, how can I meet his needs if I can't walk? So ultimately we ended up deciding to move in with our in-laws since the lease of our apartment ended at the end of June anyways, so that, you know, I could get the extra help so that I could rest my foot and, you know, recover quickly. And, you know, I'm glad to say that my left foot has been feeling much, much better since the beginning. You know, I made the mistake in the beginning with my right foot of not resting it, of just not really taking it seriously. And I think that's a huge reason just why it never got better. Sorry, we're like on a tarp, which is why there's these like crinkly noises. We didn't want to repeat that mistake again with my left foot. So we're here with the in-laws and it's been really helpful in terms of taking care of Caleb. Yeah, and the reason why, you know, Justin can't help is because he's a nurse, so he works 12 hour shifts. You know, he doesn't have the luxury of working at home right now because of COVID. It's like quite the opposite actually. In the beginning, when I first hurt my foot, I was really tempted to kind of withdraw as a parent from Caleb, especially when we moved in the beginning with my in-laws since I felt like they could take better care of him than I could because it's just my personal tendency where I feel like if I can't do something right or something well, I would rather just not do it at all, which is something that I definitely know is not a good thing and I'm trying to work on. But given that my left foot is feeling a lot better, um, yeah, I don't feel that way anymore and I think I just resolved to do the best that I can right now with my feet the way they are and knowing that even though I can't necessarily give him my all that you know it's good enough and especially because I have the help of our parents that you know they can kind of fill in the gaps for me and I'm really thankful for that. Kayla, what are you doing? Huh? Are you eating your hand? You want to say hi? Say hello. See, he's crawling already. He's only, well, he'll be seven months next week, but he started crawling at six months, and I think usually babies don't start crawling until they're around eight months, so he's a very mobile baby, so it's not really the best time for my feet to be in the shape that they are, but I'm hoping that they'll recover by the time he's walking and everything. You want Mama's foot to get better? Yeah. So Justin just got back from work. Um, I'm telling them about my feet and I wanted to ask you how it's been for you. For the past like two years, ever since you hurt your foot, I don't feel like very burdened I don't feel like tired and I don't feel like ungrateful or like I rarely if ever think like oh man I wish like she could just walk in the sense that like I'm tired of it sometimes it's not like it's not frustrating but it's like you kind of have like these like wishful thoughts well I don't think it's wishful I think it's normal like yeah, of like course normal. you want me to get yeah. better so that we can like do all the things that we want to do but i mean like it's not all just like so that we can i want your foot to get better because like like for yourself right like just so you can like even like walk like just function kind of like regularly um because like honestly like, i feel like that's like the biggest thing was it discouraging for you when i um hurt my left foot yeah, I think like the first few days was like a little bit terrifying. You can't like help us sometimes like just jumping to like the worst yeah. case scenario. Like like I will never be able to walk again. I think it is definitely getting, I mean it's way better than it was at first these days. I'm able to walk around a lot more with the boot and the brace. So I wear this on my left foot and then on my right foot I have a brace. And also like recently I started praying every day for my foot and for a long time I wasn't really praying for my foot because I figured, you know, eventually my body will take care of itself and it will heal or the doctors know what they're doing and they'll be able to get it better and just uh, time and time again that's proven not true. <laughs> like two or three months ago I think I finally just 
got to the point where I was like, well, even if my body heals itself on its own, like that is God doing that. I think that's been a really big change of heart for me in a few months coming, seeing how it goes. Surgery might be another option. The recovery time would be four months, but hopefully at the end of that, my foot would be back to normal and I could just go on living life as I was before. I'm hopeful and I think I'm hopeful in God that he will heal me. But yeah, I just thought I'd talk about this today just to maybe give you guys a little bit more context about what my life is like. But yeah, any updates in the future, I'll let you guys know. Um, but otherwise, that's kind of the story as it stands now. So yeah, if you liked this video, please hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions for me of things that might work or maybe even just some encouragements for me because, you know, everything helps, I feel like. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. I've been feeling so down, yeah Can you tell me why, can you tell me why I'm down, yeah No friends of mine, no friends of mine